I'm Shannon Harris. Welcome to Window in Wilmington. On today's show, we'll have details on this year's Mega Viz Fest activities. We will also check in with NAMI Delaware. We'll also hear more about connections and their community support programs. And Tina Betts will tell us what's happening around town. But first, pause for people. Pet therapy programs have really proven to be a big help for individuals who are recovering from illness or who may be now immobile. Lynn Robinson joins me now with information on a family and pet friendly fundraiser and other events. How you doing? I'm doing terrific. Thanks for having us back on the show. Glad to have you here. You bought my favorite buddy. This is Sundance. He's four years old and he has been doing therapy work since he was eight weeks old. We'll see what he does here. Well, he probably does a lot. Sundance, can you give me no. a call? Oh, I love you. There right. you go. There so you what's go. going That's on over at Paul's, Lynn? And at this point, which we're so proud of, so now we're able to work on programs and strengthen them and make them deeper and more important. So one program that I'm really proud of is um, we've been working with the Laurelton, and um, there are several patient or people, residents really, that have dementia. So we're in the pro he's eating treats. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're working to design a program that is very very specific. Instead of just taking a dog and saying hi and doing a, a light visit. This is going to be where our teams are trained to uh, really understand dementia, what, what the folks are feeling, what they need, and then be able to use the animals to help them. And um, dementia patients work really, really well with animals. They respond well to them. And then you can have them speaking or have them moving or just, just change their life and make it better. So that's the kind of thing we're working on now is developing programs. And that's so from doing. all of the visits that all the pets do, mm -hmm. you guys then see how you can change your program, enhance it, or further it along, which is really great. Well, it makes it fun. It, it, it's, it's developing and meeting different, different people. We've been very important lately, Meadowood, Rockford, Terry Psychiatric Center, where folks in the mental health business have seen how important pet therapy is. So again, going there, our therapy teams need to know much more about who we're talking with, what they're dealing with, what would be supportive, what would not be aggravating or agitating. And so that, again, we're developing programs along those lines to make it better for our teams and then better for the people that we visit. So how do you train the animals that go for pet therapy? Oh, they train us. <laughs> <laughs> um, it starts with a friendly pet. We just actually trained or put, accepted in a 20-pound rabbit. <laughs> I mean, think really? about this. This is a 20-pound rabbit. Yes, Why'd but think about someone. <laughs> well, next time I will. I'd I like will. to see a 20 pound rabbit. But it, it starts rabbit. with a friendly, affectionate pet that likes to be with people, doesn't necessarily have to be on a person all the time. Right. Is. And then what we really do is we train the person on how to utilize this kind of capability to help people that we visit. So sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's comforting, sometimes it's relaxing, uh, sometimes we can intervene if somebody's really agitated. Um, like in some of the, the mental health facilities where if somebody's agitated, we can walk over and say, would you like to pet the dog? And their focus has changed and they're right. diverted. When they start doing this, um, actually just petting a dog releases cortisol right. um, in your body and that's a good thing. So people feel better and then again, they're diverted. So they forget what the agitation was about and they can go sort of move over a little bit in their life and continue. So. The staff loves that. <laughs> you know, and as we saw from the last visit when you were here, the pet therapy and the reading and everything, mm -hmm. that works really well with young kids. Yes. Uh, our reading program has skyrocketed. It's, it's amazing. We have one person that's solely working with that. And it's also moving into the, our program with autism and crossover. There are several teachers that want us to come in for the reading aspect so that children can sit read to a dog like this, they get excited, they think it's fun, they get fur, um, they get a calling card, they get all kinds of neat things, and then it's a happy experience. But some of the teachers are calling us in for that, but they're working with special needs children. So we also then need to know the reading part, but we also need to know the children and what they're experiencing. So if you're working with a child who's blind or you're working with someone with Down syndrome, right. um, again, we need to know more about those folks so that we can understand where they're coming from and meet them where they are and then help move them forward. So now the pet owners are also the handlers, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. all of us, uh, we, we bring in our own pets. Um, we don't borrow them. We're not trying to sell them. We won't give you away. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we just have our own pets. So there's a really good bond. So when someone comes to visit, then it's, you know what the dog's going to do or what the cat's going to do, and the dog knows you. So it's, it's, it's a comfortable thing. Yeah, good boy. Relaxing right here. Yeah, right, right on my feet. <laughs> uh, that's like 90 pounds right on our feet. Oh, <laughs> that's a good boy. Uh, yeah, so. Lynn, how do you train the volunteers in case anybody's thinking about it? They have a really friendly pet and they're thinking about this. The first thing to do is go on our website and then um, the top bar it says get involved and one of the drop down places says become a therapy team. And so that's the, that's the real thing. But what we do is after that information comes to us we call and we do an intake conversation. It can last 15 minutes, it can last an hour, it just depends. Basically what we're trying to do is, I don't know, it's nothing there. I love this dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically what we're trying to do is get to know them and answer questions. Once that works and if it's a good fit, then we invite them to orientation. We teach them the certification test that they have to take. We test them, we finish training, we take them on their very first visit and make sure that the dog is suited, like this dog, really likes older folks because they pet him and love right. him and they hold still and that's what he wants. Some dogs are more active, they want to work with kids, they want to work in physical and occupational therapy. Um, so the dogs have their own personality and so do the people. So once they get their first visit then they're kind of on their own to visit on a regular basis. We would love to have more teams, we're always looking for more teams because we have so, so much good work to do. Um, and sites are asking us constantly, can you come here, can you come here? And we can only do a certain capacity, so we need more people, we need more money. Right, <laughs> right. Well, speaking of more money, we got a great wagon walk program yes. coming up, right? I hold that up. Yeah, you want me to hold them? Uh, mm -hmm. I got them. Okay, you got them. How's this? Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is our fourth annual wagon walk. It is a time where we go to Glasgow Park. It's October the 20th, and it's, it's actually very different because in this state, most there are doggy walks. SBCA has theirs. And, where are you going? Um, he says, you're not petting me, so <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, what we have and what we offer, which is different, is a 5K run walk that you can use. You can take your dog. Okay. So you can run with your dog. You can walk with your dog in the 5K. After that's over, then there's a family-friendly doggy walk, so those of us that don't run and don't move too quickly, we can take our dogs on a one-mile walk. And then after that, there are vendors and food and activities and music and all kinds of different things. So it's a really nice day. Um, families can come. Individuals can come. We would love everybody to come. And what you can do to find out more information is there is uh, a whole page on our website about the wagon walk. And if somebody's interested, they can go on Pause for People, that's P A W S F O R People dot org. That's our um, website. And just click on this. There's a picture of that little dog. That's our little logo. And then hopefully people will come and enjoy themselves. And it's our biggest fundraiser for the year. So we would love to have people come and have a good time. And if they can't make it out, Lynn, can they all just donate online? Absolutely. Too? We have another okay. page on our website that's just for donations. So, and people can donate in honor or in memory of a dog or a loved one. So there are lots of opportunities to help pause, and we would love the help. I think it's a really good thing that we do. People seem to love it and respond very well. I think he loves you. I think he does too, <laughs> and I love him too. Let's tell everybody about the Jingle Bell Brunch, because that'll be coming okay, up. Okay, that, that's another fundraiser, and that's a fun one. We get to dress up. Uh, it's the 1st of December, and it's being held at the Embassy Suites in Newark. And basically, people come, and it's a lovely, lovely brunch and a silent auction, and PAWS members can bring their dogs. So there, it's, it's an unusual kind of thing. You can have lunch, and there are, there are dogs, around, not a million of them, but it's, it, it's fun. <laughs> we'll have a photographer. We have a special pet remembrance tree. We have a lot of different little things. But the most important thing is, again, it is a fundraiser for PAWS, and it's it's our dressy thing. All right. Yeah, well, thank you, Lynn. It is You're always welcome. a pleasure to see you, and we love it when you bring your I don't think he's going to leave friends. you. <laughs> he's probably not, you know, and I don't want to make him mad. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just roll good. over. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But we'll see you back here again. Great. Thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, Mega Biz Fest when we return. Look at this dog. He's cute.